Welcome to my station, Chats with Flo. I give Christian advice for your everyday life. Today's topic is going to be about how to find your role in ministry as a pastor's wife. I remember it took me a couple of years to actually find my role as a pastor's wife. I was only 22 years old when my husband started pastoring. I am a perfectionist. So I'm one of those people to where everything I do, I want to do my best. So I can remember that I will go to uh, different bookstores every so often, trying to find material on being a pastor's wife. There was no material out then. And of course, the internet wasn't out then as well. Everything I learned was from other people, other pastor's wives. One of the main things that I noticed about pastor's wives during that time is that they all was ministers just like their husbands. They preached at their church just as much as he did. And I can remember uh, over the years, different uh, ministers that would come into our church would tell me that, uh, that I was a minister as well. So if you have different people to keep telling you things, you believe it. And they also make me feel that I should. I remember thinking, okay, all these people are telling you that you should minister too, so you need to try it. And I did. I can remember whenever I got enough nerve to try to speak at our church, I would get so nervous. And I can even remember forgetting everything that I was going to say. Later, I thought about that thing. And I remember thinking to myself that, okay, if this is something that you are meant to do, you should feel comfortable with doing it. It shouldn't be so hard for you. You shouldn't feel out of place. People was correct when they would tell me that I was a minister too. But the only thing is that I was not the same kind of minister as my husband. My ministry is different. I minister to people through my everyday life, through my walk with God. If you are a pastor's wife and you're not for sure what your role is in you guys' ministry, make sure you watch the rest of this video because I'm gonna share three steps with you. Number one, be yourself. I can't even remember during those days how that all pastor's wives, they looked alike, they acted alike, they loved to be seen. When we would go to a different church and I would sit in an audience and I would look around just to see if I could spot out the pastor's wife. And of course, it was easy to do. Now, I am different from the average pastor's wife. I love wearing trendy clothes. I'm easy going, I'm laid back. I like to be in the background. I don't care for being seen. I was content with being a wife and a mom. And at that time, that is what God wanted me to be. When my husband first started our ministry, our children was very young then, and what they needed most was their mom. They needed someone to nurture them, to protect them, to make sure that their needs were met. And also, that's what my husband needed for me as well. He just needed me to be his wife. When my husband and I first started our ministry, I was the musician. And the reason why I played, because I had the talent for it, and there was no one else that could do it. I learned to fit in the area at my church that was liking. Step two, ask God what he wants you to do at your church. And also, you can always ask your husband as well. When you first start out helping your church, do things that's comfortable for you. Step number three,
submit to God's will. One of the things that you already know, and that is that God's will is for you to submit to your husband. Remember that when God calls a man into ministry, his family is called into ministry as well. You both have a work to do for God. You and your husband, you are a team. You work together to do God's will. Don't allow people to dictate your life. Instead, let God dictate your steps. If you allow him, God will lead you to the path that he wants you on. All you have to do is just submit to him. The main thing is, I want you to be encouraged. You never know how many women lives that you are going to impact. If this video was a help to you, make sure you leave me a comment at the bottom. And I hope that you find your place in your church and you serve it well. If you haven't subscribed to my station, just go on and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. That way you will know whenever I upload a new video. As always, thank you for watching and have an awesome day.